Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. November is Native American Heritage Month, so today we're going to listen to our second citizenship quiz in honor of Native Americans. Download the bonus PDF, answer the questions, and check the show notes for the answers. Let's get started. Sacagawea was a Shoshone woman who guided Lewis and Clark as they explored the territory purchased from France in 1803. During their three-year journey, they followed America's longest river to its source, climbed over the Rocky Mountains to the west coast, then returned. In 2000, the U.S. Mint issued the Sacagawea dollar coin, which shows her carrying her baby son as they traveled to the west. Question 1. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Question 2. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Question 3. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Sequoia was a Cherokee silversmith who independently developed a syllabary for the Cherokee language. In 1825, the Cherokee Nation adopted this syllabary, published a newspaper, and translated other books such as the Bible. Sequoia's work inspired others to develop syllabaries for native languages in Canada, Asia, and Africa. Question 4. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Charles Curtis, who descended from the Ka, Osage, and Potawatomi tribes, was a U.S. Senator from Kansas and the first person with acknowledged non-European ancestry to serve as Vice President. Question 5. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Ben Nighthorse Campbell was a Cheyenne silversmith who represented Colorado in both houses of Congress from 1987 to 2005. Question 6. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Tom Cole of the Chickasaw Nation has served as a U.S. representative from Oklahoma since 2003. As a Deputy Majority Whip, he works with the Speaker of the House and the Majority Whip to get support for proposed laws. Question 7. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? During the 2014 Alaskan gubernatorial election, Democrat Byron Mallett of the Tlingit people, merged his campaign with that of independent candidate Bill Walker. They won, and Mallet now serves as the lieutenant governor of Alaska. Question 8. Who is the governor of your state now? Lori Ann Paestoa of the Hopi people was the first Native American woman in history to die in combat while serving in the U.S. military. She was awarded the Purple Heart and has been honored by many memorials, including the renaming of Arizona's Squaw Peak as Piastawa Peak. Question 9. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Question 10. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. 
Before we go, I'd like to suggest one more resource and a tip to study for citizenship. Go to IndianCountryMediaNetwork.com and check out these two blog posts, Native American Radio and Podcasts You Can Take Anywhere. And for your online listening pleasure, 12 Great Native Podcasts. Pick a topic that is interesting to you, such as music, art, or technology, and then listen to the Native American podcast that matches your interests. You'll sharpen your English listening skills for your citizenship interview while learning more about Native Americans from Native Americans. Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you'll find more citizenship resources for Native American Heritage Month and Thanksgiving. Also, our new book, U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp, is now available at amazon.com. It's a great self-study resource during the upcoming holidays. Thanks for listening. I know that you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.